ok let's start our design let's select the top plane now go to sketch polygon and hexagon drag from the center change the dimension to 10 millimeters rotate and select the profile extrude 8 millimeters now let's select the bottom face create a sketch and draw a circle move it to the center Select the circle and drag the arrow to the edge. Now change the dimension to 17 millimeters. Draw another circle outside the hexagon and put it in the center. Now let's rotate the sketch and select the other profiles. Now cut through all at a 45 degree angle. This will give us the rounded cut of the head. Double tap on the sketch. Exit sketch and let's copy 8 millimeters above the original sketch now let's do the same operation as before 45 degree angle now let's go to layers and hide the sketches now double tap on the body and let's copy and move it above 12 millimeters ok now let's rename the bodies The first one will be bolt. And the second one will be nut. Now let's hide the nut body for later. Select the top face, create a sketch, draw a circle, put it on the center, 13 millimeters. Now rotate the body and extrude the circle. 1 millimeter. Select again the top face. Create a sketch. Draw another circle. This time 10 millimeters. And extrude 15 millimeters. This will be the main body of the bolt. Now select the edge. Make a chamfer of 1 millimeter. And now let's hide and not use its sketches. Ok, now let's select the side plane, create a sketch, let's zoom in, let's create a triangular profile, this will create the cut for the thread, now let's rotate and select the profile, then the vertical axis and then revolve. Okay. Let's drag it to 14 millimeters and then draw the spiral. Okay. Then go to tools, subtract, select the bolt, then the cut body, choose none and done. Ok, now in order to create the thread for the nut, we need to copy the bolt body. Let's rename it to a tool. Now let's hide the bolt. Double tap on the tool. And then scale. For the X direction, 1.1 and the same for the y direction. This scale factor will depend on the type of 3D printer you are using and also the clearance between the parts you want to use. In this case I'm using an FDM 3D printer and a clearance of 0.5 mm between the parts giving a 1.1 scale factor. Now let's activate the nut, go to subtract, select the nut, then the tool, now none and done. Now let's activate the bolt. Let's choose an orthogonal plane. Activate the section view. And we have now our clearance between the parts. 
this case 0.5 millimeters. So now everything is ready. Let's go to share, export, export design, 3MF file, and check on the box, save each file separately, and then export. The last step is import the files to your slicer. In my case is the Creality slicer for the Ender 3S1 Pro. I'm using a 0.2mm height and the material is PLA. Now just save and let's go to the printer. Finally we have our nut and bolt and as you can see the nut works great on the bolt so I hope this video has been helpful to you thanks for watching and see you in the next video